Hello everyone. Well, today I'm going to show you just a little variation. It's kind of a mix between the Endless Falls bracelet and then also the Salomon, which are, here's the Salomon and here's the Endless Falls. It's just going to be kind of these brown pieces here. We're going to do those every third Salomon knot and it gives it kind of a cool accent. But what I've done here is I've got six feet of neon orange and I've already done the cow's hitch on one side of the bracelet. Now we're going to use black and I've got only about two feet of black here. And we're going to put it through the cow's hitch and pull it through to the middle. So what, how you can do that is just grab both ends, hold down that, and that's your middle point right there. So then you can tighten this up. And the black is what we're going to be running the Solomon around. We're not going to be using the orange as the core because we're going to add the, the buckle at the end. So then we can actually go right into this one and just put your black right down at the bottom and bring your oranges around this way. So to start Solomon, you create a loop on the right, go over the center, take your left one, go over the right, go around the back, and go through that hole and then pull that tight. This first one might be kind of awkward just because those the black is coming from the outside in. Yep, and it's gonna kind of want to be a pain. Alright, so get that pulled nice and tight. Okay, so there's one. So to start this you can do two just so you can get your design going. So then you have this bridge over here on the left side, which I'll zoom in on and show you. So you've got this, this I call it a bridge, I don't know what it's really called, but there's whatever side that this little piece is on, this orange piece, that's the side that you're going to put over top the middle. So we go left, we start with the left now, go right over the left, behind the back and through that hole. And pull that tight. Cinch it up. Alright, so now on this one we're actually going to incorporate the black. The Endless Falls part of it. So this is on this side now, on the right. So do right over center. Left over right. Behind the back. And through. And instead of tightening this, what you want to do is the... The, uh paracord that's over the center piece, over the black, that's the one that you're going to wrap. And what I mean by that is you're going to take the black now and just kind of wrap it right around that orange piece. And you're going to do the same thing on the left side. Go down through that hole. And I'm going to zoom out or zoom in on this for you so you can kind of see what's going on here. So you're just you're just working with the piece that goes over the center and then you're just basically taking the paracord around and then we're going to go straight down with it again. So you can tighten, at this point you can tighten this up and then you're just going to pull pull the black pieces through. And make sure it's nice and tight about as tight as you can and then pull your black pieces through so that those are right next to each other. All right, and then you're just going to do three more Solomons. So we got the left over the center, right over left, behind the back. Pull that on tight. Cinch it up. We got right over center, left over right, go around the back and through. And cinch it up. And we're going to do one more. So the first one you do two, and on the third one you do your your black piece right here. Once you get that one though, you're going to do three. Or you can do it however you like. If you want to do every two, then do one, then that's fine too. But I like, it, I like doing it three, it gives nice spacing. So on this one, we're actually going to bring the black back into it. And again, it's going to be 
the paracord that's over the center, the black being your center, and this one being the one that goes over the center, you're going to wrap that piece. And you also want to keep in mind too that you want to go to the outsides of the center. See how when it loops around it goes to the outside? You could also loop it around to the inside, but it, it kind of it doesn't work too well doing that. Alright. There we go. Now depending on how tight you pull these black pieces, you're going to end up maybe with a little gap right here where the the orange is going to show through, which isn't, that's not a bad thing. All right, well, I think you've got enough information to finish this bracelet up. You're not going to add the buckle until the very end, so just keep going until you reach your desired length. And then later on in the video, I'll show you how to end it. Okay, so I'm actually down to the bottom, and what I want to do is kind of get in close on this a little bit. Um, I ran out of black, so you might want to up your your uh, secondary color up to maybe four feet, because this bracelet it's only about five six inches, and it's going to be pretty short. So you definitely don't want to run out like I did halfway through. Um, so what I've done here is I've run the black pieces up through the bottom of this buckle and I've tied a loose Solomon already. So now what I want to do is I want to put this black piece down through that side. Just kind of hold on, well you won't have to hold on to it because yours will be a lot longer. And then I want to put this black one down through that side. And then get this pulled nice and tight. And this is what's going to attach your buckle to the bracelet. All right, pull that tight. And then I think what I can do here is grab my pliers and tighten this on up. Yep, there we go. And tighten that up. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do one more Solomon because I think I've got enough room for it. Yep, there we go. And what that's going to let me do, it's going to let me snip the ends right here at the end. Okay, so what you would do with the black pieces now that they're in there, is you would go ahead and you'd snip these ends and singe them. But to save a little time on this video, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the orange ones and singe the orange ones. But you're going to want to do both of them, black and orange. Well, that was a really good one. <laughs> Alright, so real easy. Just snip it, and then what you want to do is... I try to say it every video, but you just because there's some people that this might be their first video that they've watched, haven't seen any of these, but you want to, on this part when you're singeing the ends, you want to use the lowest part of your flame. That's where the least amount of heat is at, but it's enough heat to actually liquefy the paracord without burning it. You see that's nice and liquefied there and then I can just smash that in kind of fuses everything right together there we go and like I said you would end up cutting off these pieces here too yours are going to be a lot longer than that but cut those right there and singe the ends um, I still haven't come up with a name for this one yet uh, if, if you think of something post it in the comments but uh, for right now I think I'm just going to combine do, do some kind of name, uh, Solomon's Endless Falls, something. Um, it also kind of reminds me of Deer Track, so I might even just call this one the Deer Tracks. Um, but uh, again, thanks for watching. 
don't hit, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, lots and lots of videos still to come, so don't forget to don't miss out on those. Thanks, guys and girls.